Okay, friends and neighbors, here we've got a really nice example of, a, we'll call it a circa 1919, Vega Fairbanks Regent Banjo. Uh, we've got a lot of it is still the original hardware. I do believe those are the original tuners that would have come on this. I like the sort of plain look of it. We've got a, a nice, a high grade, but still plain maple neck here and the rim is also the same sort of blonde maple rim check out the nice ball end hardware really nice piece we've got an elite tail piece on it I like those and this is a reproduction bridge by Joel Hooks these are really good bridges I highly recommend if you want to put a bridge on on an antique banjo like this that's going to take gut or nylon strings if you're in the United States, you need to order your bridge from Joel Hooks, banjothimble.com. If you're over in Europe or the United Kingdom, check out Clifford Essex. That's probably easier for you to get a hold of. Um, here's some, we'll show the close up. Just a plain fingerboard inlay until you get to that. Sort of a strange, uh, I don't know if that's supposed to be a lotus flower or a fleur de lis or what's going on there. And then I'll, again, I'll to, I like that plain peg head. I think that's nice. I'm not sure what kind of wood's going on there. It's some kind of exotic dark hardwood. Um, this is this is a nice calfskin head. I don't think that's the original head, but that is a nice hardy calfskin head. So let's look under the head on this sucker. Um, the date approximation uh, comes from you know, see it's got the Vega markings alongside the Fairbanks markings in there. So we know that in, in 1904, the Fairbanks factory, which was in Boston, uh, burnt down. And they were pretty quickly bought out by the Vega company. Vega was a guitar manufacturing company over in New York. So Vega bought out Fairbanks, and as long as the, the um, I forget his first name, but A.C. Fairbanks, as long as he was still alive, they kept both names, Vega and Fairbanks, on him. But he died shortly thereafter, so you can actually date these things pretty close. So when it says Fairbanks Banjo made by the Vega Company, Boston, Massachusetts, and it's got the Vega stars on it, you can pretty much date that to between 1904 and 1919. So I guess I guess old man Fairbanks died in 1919, 1920, and they stopped putting the Fairbanks on it, and at that point it just became Vega banjos. And shortly thereafter, they come up with that tuba phone uh, tone ring and whatnot. But anyhow, it's it's a nice banjo. It's not the super. It's not the fanciest banjo. If you look closely here, you can see that the rim is a is made of multiple plies of wood, and also. Note those slotted screws. I always point out when you see the slotted screws on the inside of a banjo, that means it's typically not as fancy as the banjos that have the uh, the hex bolts inside of them. Anyhow, everybody, I guess that's about all I needed to show you on that.